angry crowd. Oh, we're on the angry crowd. Yes, we're on the angry crowd. And go. Who is thy father? <laughs> Who is the father of your child? I'm sorry, hold on. <laughs> Who is the father of your child? If you shall give us a name, we shall relieve you of your scarlet letter. Never. It is too deeply granted. It can never be removed. My lady will have no earthly father. Okay, go. I think we're ready. <laughs> Mr. Esther, you've got to visit her! <laughs> we'll just have to refilm me walking over. Oh, yeah. Mr. Esther, you've got to visit her! Dalton, you can cut it. So, who is the father of that child? I shall not say. What shall you not say? I don't feel like it. You are worried that the child's father's name. I do not seek revenge, for I know God will do that for me. What are you doing? Taking things. <laughs> Do not let anybody know that I was once called your husband. <laughs> show, show. Be like, my child has no father. Yeah. And then I'll be like, very well then, and just don't let anybody know that I was once called your husband. And then I'll rise up and I'll be like, I'll be like, but I will find your, you know, that child. Uh, I know that God will serve him enough punishment. God judges all in the end. Hello, Hester. <clears throat> so, Roger, it's so great to have you on the show today. Can you please tell me and our audience how you found Hester? Well, that's a story far too long for this show. How you found her after you were gone? There we go. <laughs> like, let's retry that. It's all like how I found her. They didn't even cover that in this story. Okay, go ahead. Um, Yay! It's okay. So, Roger, tell me and our audience how you found Hester after you had been gone for a very long time. Well, as you know, I've been gone for a very long time. <laughs> I just so repeated that. And I was staying with some Indians to learn how they use get upstairs, get upstairs, what are you get upstairs. Doing, Laura? We're filming. We're filming. Well, Dad said to bring down some snacks for you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Wait, put them here. <laughs> <laughs> How are they supposed to magically appear in this show? Thank you, that was our kitchen person. <laughs> okay. Yeah, me going to get up to you. And you can say that for the blue <laughs> Okay. Close the door. Anyway. No. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Now, we have our very own Dalton, Bianca. Oh wait, you're supposed to be out of your costume! Oh! <laughs> 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 you no. I was gonna just... <clears throat> not my pants. I can't eat baby carrots. Really? I'm supposed to be with braces. No, I ain't ever gonna get with braces anyway. Oh yes, me too. It's over caramel. I'm gonna get Plop down. Ooh. I didn't like caramel, I should've done once. Anyway. I'm taller than everybody else. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there we go. No, stop it! <laughs> Sit down! <laughs> Alright, let's go.
try to get an adult. Okay. Have you ever been deceived by someone who is close to you? No, we don't. Yes, we do. No, I've got to see the number. If you have been deceived by someone very close to you, call 555-0198. We will have psychiatrists waiting on the line to help you get through the year in difficult times. <clears throat> That's a really nice pink ball you're bouncing. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That's a really nice pink ball you're bouncing. Pink. Are you blind? It's red. What are you talking about? That's so pink. No, it's red. Um, hello? P for pink? Hello, it's red. It's pink! Red! Pink! Red! Pink! Do you have a friend that you love so much, but you just hate it when they argue with you? Well, we have a solution. Inject them with, agree with me. Now they will agree with you. <laughs> it's pink. Right, it is pink. Oh, I feel really dumb, man. It's okay. We all have our moments. I'm sorry. Call within ten minutes, and we'll send you your free copy of the Scarlet Letter. One of which, one of the themes of the Scarlet Letter is love and hate. Okay. Yay! Yeah! I have to decide if this this story could take place in any other place rather than um, Puritan England. Right? It was Pur Puritan New England. Yes. Where it took p place in like the 15th century. Yes. Okay. I think it could happen in Greenland. Just because there would be nobody there to like stop them. Because even though there was probably nobody living there at the time, because Greenland's iced over, I think that like, oh. you know, if there is like a small little village there and someone committed adultery, there wouldn't really be anybody there to like. But say. that's the whole story, though. I, like, exactly. Adultery can happen anywhere, but the story is about how they handled this. Well, here's the thing. Uh, yeah, that's exactly it. How, if you lived in Greenland and someone committed adultery, would you act as severely as they did with Hester Well, Krim? you're you're only saying that there's going to be, what, three people there? <laughs> I never think it can happen in Africa. Or in the ghetto. <laughs> or in the ghetto. <laughs> Um, like Japan, Japan, maybe. I, I don't really think so because there's, Japan is like really honorable, and according to Adam, they probably commit suicide first. <laughs> you oh, bring it up. up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it, I don't think it would happen in, in present. Did we already mention happiness? No, we have not mentioned oh. happiness. Oh yes, Pearl brings a lot of happiness into the yes, story. Pearl is exactly. Pearl doesn't really bring happiness. She's more Pearl of a freak. Well, what she did. But she Pearl stayed is in always happy. Yeah. yeah. Pearl, Pearl, Pearl was, was the happiness. happiness in the story. She yes. was the happiness. She was happy. She may not have made other people happy, but she was happy. All yeah. the time. She was the happiness in the story. And then what were you saying before anger? Which I don't know if that's really a mood, but it can set moods like it makes the reverend ill. Yeah. And then and also... away at him. Yeah. And there then, was a lot of sorrow. Yeah. And loneliness. Yeah, because, um... Because she was kind of like... I felt bad for her. I really did. Like, at first, I mean... How does the way he tells the story really affect the novel? Um... It's kinda, it's like, it's able to take you back. Oh my god, Colleen, you're on camera! <laughs> <laughs> I'm making it so we're not just sitting here and talking, I'm sitting here and eating popcorn. <laughs>